Hi, my name is Catalina. I am 34 years old and I live in Wolverhampton in the West Midlands. I started the IT career switch traineeship in July 2020 uh, with the cybersecurity path. I signed up for the traineeship because I was looking for a career change. I had no work experience in the UK and I thought that starting fresh in a new field would bring uh, some interesting new opportunities and challenges. I have a background in economics and some experience in customer service. I also started a role as a baby wearing consultant during my second maternity leave, so have, I have tried a good variety of positions. I enjoyed the first part of the traineeship as it gave me the opportunity to study at my own pace while also being able to take care of my two daughters. Uh, the videos were easy to follow and I could watch them whenever I had some free time. One month after I uh, gained my a certification, I got my first IT role with a small financial services company, EBI Portfolios. They're based in Walsall. I now get to work from, uh, from home most of the days, which is great. There are about 20 employees and I am the only IT support engineer in a small IT department mostly made up of software developers. On a day-to-day -day basis, I am responsible for everyone's equipment working properly, laptops, headsets, etc., as well as making sure all the systems we are using are running smoothly. I have completed hardware upgrades, including RAM upgrades, to improve the performance on, uh, of, on some of our older hardware and TPM module installations to uh, enable BitLocker encryption. Uh, I also make use of Windows Server Active Directory to manage new and existing users. The traineeship uh, gave me the theoretical knowledge needed for this role, as well as confidence in my research skills. With my foundational knowledge, I have the ability to solve problems myself using um, online resources. It took a few months to get used to all the systems and workflows that EBI use, uh, but my confidence has grown massively and I have been able to pick up more responsibilities along the way. Uh, so I now feel an uh, like an integral member of the, of the team. I have been able to grow by continuing to use the learning skills developed uh, on the traineeship. And I have recently started studying for the next phase of my career, which will be a cybersecurity analyst certification. Hi, this is Catalina. Uh, we are here at the um, eBay Portfolios um, office building. Today is going to be a day in the office, so I'm just going to let myself in and go upstairs. Hi again, I just got up. I got to my laptop, I opened my laptop and now I'm going through my daily activities. So I'm just going through my emails and putting together a task list for today. I just got an email from my uh, manager saying that we need to set up a new user account. Um, so I'm just going to add that to my list for today. Um, for today, I'm also going to have a look at one of my colleagues' PC because it looks like it won't boot, it won't get past the BIOS. So I'm going to have a look at that as well as take a look at uh, Zapier and some integrations for some of our um, apps. So yeah, that should be some of the stuff I'm going to have a look at today. Okay, um, I am back. I just had my morning huddle with my team and now I'm going to start um, with my first task of the day, which is creating a new user for our sales team. Uh, so first of all, I am going to create a user in um, Office 365 in the admin center. I'm just going to type in their name and their username, choosing the correct domain and then automatically creating a password for them. I'm assigning one of the available licenses and then they should be ready to go. Next thing I'm going to RDP, use remote desktop to connect to our server. Uh, so I can also have a Windows domain account created for this person. In this case, because this person is going to have a role similar to one of our uh, one of our other team members, 
I'm go just going to copy an existing user. So I am now under Active Directory Users and Computers and I'm just going to copy one of the existing users because this person is going to have the same uh, role as an existing user and I guess that would be all. I just need to set up their um, password, hit next and that's it. Hi guys, today I'm working from the office and I am going to talk about some of the tasks that uh, usually come up. Um, one of my colleagues uh, was complaining this morning about his PC not working. He said that uh, it would not get past the bio screen. So I just took it from, um, from his desk and brought it here uh, into one of the meeting rooms so I can have a better look at it. I have been uh, doing some research on my own and uh, my next step would be to open it up and check the SATA connections inside. Okay, so uh, as you may see, I got the SSD out and disconnected. And uh, to begin with, I'm going to try uh, to connect the data cable to a different SATA port and then also try a different uh, power connector. And uh, yeah, that's something I'm gonna try next. If not, if that doesn't work, then it means the SSD is dead. All tests are done now. I tried every configuration possible, uh, but the old SSD would not work, which is why I tried a new SSD. I just replaced the old one with a new one, which works in the same configuration as before. So we can just say that the old um, hard drive died. Um, later today, I'm gonna have Windows reinstalled on this computer, so that should fix the problem.